that was Ola CEO Bhavish Agarwal testing out the new music feature on the Ola electric scooter. Now that was a year ago and I'm sure he must have figured out better ways to announce new products now. You can understand 20 plus Indian languages Ravi, 20 plus and it can generate about 10 Indian languages, Marathi, Hindi, Bengali, Tamil, Kannada, Telugu, Odia, Gujarati, Malayali, I forgot one or two. Malayali? Malayali? I am a Malayali. I speak Malayalam. No, no, I'm not offended. Not at all. Going live and not on time, Ola released Krithram, which they term as India's AI model, by India for India. Krithram, which means artificial in Sanskrit, is considered to be trained on over 2 trillion tokens. Built in collaboration with Krithram C Designs, which was set up by Agarwal, along with a board member of ANI Technologies Limited, the parent entity of Ola Cabs and Ola Electric, Krithram will be available in two modes. One as the base model Krithram and another powerful one, Krithram Pro. Wait, where have I heard that before? Oh yes, Google's Gemini models, Pro and Ultra. Super original, Malayali it seems. Showcase the, the breadth and depth of the capability here. Multilingual, understanding Indian context, can do all kinds of things from coding to writing poems to talking about weather to talking about languages. It deeply understands the Indian context because it's been trained on all Indian languages with the, the cultural depth that those language vehicles uh, have in them. The first version of Krithram is set to support over 20 Indian languages and generate content in 10 languages. What's interesting is that unlike most startups that build AI wrappers around existing API, Krithram is built on a proprietary large language model. They even showcased a number of evaluation metrics where Krithram is set to surpass highly capable models such as GPT-4. Krithram APIs are set to be available to developers from February next year and Ola Group companies have already started using it across their various internal functions such as sales, service and support. And not just that, the company will also develop silicon and infrastructure layers in-house. Pretty ambitious, which raises a lot of questions. So now he asks me, okay, when will the company turn a profit? Why are these people giving you so much money? You know, <laughs> are you doing something wrong, beta? Okay, we are having the same doubts that his dad had years ago. With aspiring plans to build everything in-house, the obvious question of how much funding and compute power does the company own or plan to own to power Krithram becomes crucial. You must have some number in mind. How much have you already pumped in in the last six to eight months that you've been working on it? How much more in the near future? Well, uh, we won't be sharing the number today. But in due course, we will tell you more about the investment. All right, uh, let's talk from a business perspective. Looking at Ola's other verticals, where Ola business is yet to make profits and Ola Electric is just starting to do well, wouldn't this AI venture be more tricky? Uh, thankfully, the finances that you mentioned are not really in the public domain, so I know the real finances of either companies. So <laughs> I can't share them with you right now on public camera. Okay, what about investors? Most of my investors are my family owned. <laughs> anyway, no, uh, do elaborate. No, I think that's all I have to say on this topic. Just dodging questions. Nothing on the compute power, infrastructure, money and investors. We just know that it is a multilingual powerful model with no substantial backing on its training data sets either. Probably sounds too good to be true. While Krithram's live demo event for an AI product might have been a first for us, the company is not the first to launch an Indic language model. Earlier this year, Tech Mahindra announced Project Indus, a Hindi large language model which will support over 37 dialects of Hindi. Just last week, a number of Indian companies and startups released bilingual LLMs, which include Microsoft backed Kisan AI's Denu, Kosla Ventures backed Sarvam AI's OpenHati, and Google backed Co Rover's Bharat GPT. So it pretty much comes down to let's wait and watch to see how Krithram unfolds. And until then, if you are an AI person, please write to me, bhavish at uh, olacabs.com or bhavish at olakritram.com. Please write to me. Malayalams, uh, I mean Malayalis can apply too. Thank you for watching the 10th episode of my reaction video series. I'm Mandana Nayar from Analytics India magazine.